What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master One and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm gonna be taking on Lloyd's Abyssal map and in this video I'll be giving you guys three Abyssal free to play solutions and if you're looking for the Grand Hero Battle Elite Quest Guides then I do have a video for that in the description so you can check that out and this is gonna be my first team for the Abyssal difficulty. It has got uh, by far the lowest investment from any of my solutions and it's pretty easy to do as well. So I'm just using a 3 star Vaulter to manipulate the AI. The thing is that on this map we have got this river and this mountain so you can easily uh, use a low level flying unit to manipulate the AI and pretty much take on these units one by one. Um, so it's a pretty good way of tackling this map. And I've got Fearm here. You need to give her quick repose 1. Um, version 2 or version 3 is not needed. And you also need to inherit drop back on her. And this is the only skill inheritance required on this solution. And I've got Clarice, you need to give her Poison Strike 1 Sacred Seal. And at last I've got Olivia and you need to give her Spur Attack 1 Sacred Seal. So that's gonna be my team and let's begin. Um, so you just want to manipulate the AI with a low level flying unit. And you can use any kind of uh, level 1 3 star Lance Flyer in place of Walter if you do not have him. Uh, because he does have Panic Ploy, which is definitely a coveted skill. But now, even Garen had that at 4 star 80, so what you want to do is uh, just attack this Axe Fighter. Get some nice chip damage on him with Poison Strike. And you want to use Dance and have Olivia draw back by the arm. And you want to put your Vaulter on this side of the map. So as you can see, these units all have gone here because this is a level 1 unit. And of course, they are going to be attracted to this level 1 unit like in Moth is attracted to any kind of light. So let's attack this Lance Flyer and we can easily take him out with Clarice. And we can just retreat. We do not want uh, Vaulter to die. And he's going to be balancing this Golden Ducky on his head. So here comes uh, Lloyd. He does have a uh, close defense. He even has a defense refined, but still he's not really buggy enough um, to even take hits from Clarice. So we're just going to be putting Clarice in the safe range, use drawback, and um, have Walter here as well. And now we do some more chip damage with Clarice. And we can finish him off with Fee Arm after this. So the Poison Strike chip damage is super useful. Now here, you do want to play around the AI a bit so that you can get the perfect uh, position for these units. And then we'll put Fearm in the range of that bow fighter. Fearm is super good on this map for taking on um, these range units. And we're just going to be putting Vaulter in this area. And you want to use reposition of this Lance Cavalier to your advantage to getting the position of the enemy units you want. Um, and now, uh, this guy is gonna reposition this red mage as you guys saw. And we can just have Vaulter over here. Just wait one more turn. And you wanna have this Lance Cavalier all the way down. And now you wanna put your Fearm in the range of this both fighter. And all other enemy units will be returning back except for this guy. You just need Quick Repose 1. Um, version 2 and version 3 do not really do anything because Fiorm can only take one hit. Um, so we'll just have Fiorm over here and have Clarice on top of Olivia. As you say. And we can just put Fiorm over here and uh, yeah, we're good to go. So this Axe Fighter is going to be coming down. We're going to get this Threatened Defense to buff on him. And now we can easily okay. Um, okay. get some free chip damage on this guy sure. thanks to this mountain. So you really want to use this terrain to your advantage. And obviously a Flyer Room team would just dominate this map and crush it. Um, but that bow fighter um, is definitely annoying. So this guy's super annoying with his high speed. Um, also has lunch. This map does have a lot of lunch traps. So you want to be careful around that. And now, you just want to have your Vaulter right over here. You do not want to have him down because here, um, 
this Lance Cavalier cannot reach him, but only these two range units can attack him. So these two are going to be going on this side. And this guy is going to get separated from his allies. So we can just pick him off. Um, do quite a lot of chip damage. And these two range units being separated is really nice. And now we can actually just take out this Lance Cavalier. So Spur Attack is super necessary on uh, Olivia. So make sure to have that. Alright, so we'll just have uh, these guys go over here. And Fionn can actually take a hit from this uh, bow fighter here. So we'll just have her take this hit. This reprisal hit. Clarice can get that kill. Um, yes. Okay. Sure. I hunger. And here comes this um, this red mage. Okay. All right. He does have a chill attack, which is super annoying, by the way. And now we can just finish off this red mage with Clarice, and that's gonna be your first abyssal solution. With free to play units, and the only skin items you needed was drawback on your fee arm. And now let's move on to our second abyssal solution. My second abyssal solution has got legendary Ike and Veronica, so you just need to give your legendary Ike Cricker Pouse one secret seal. You do not need version two or three, and you just want to inherit swap on him from a three star stall, Sobaki or Arthur. And then I've got Olivia. You just need to give her drive attack two secret seal. Um, I think even drive attack one can work because you only really need this for uh, that kill on that axe fighter with Ike. And then you want to give spur defense. One secret seal to your Veronica, and you just want to have any kind of green axe flyer um, as a three star unit on level one to bait the AI, similar to how I did with Vulture on my first Abyssal Solution. So let's begin. Veronica makes this whole process faster and um, a lot fun with buffs and debuffs. So you just want to have your units like this, and uh, you want to debuff this axe fighter. And this Bow Cavalier with Veronica and buff I can the process and just use swap with Veronica. Now this is to accommodate for the people who do not have Fiorm for the first solution and who do not have drawback. So you want to have Veronica over here to provide the close guard support to Ike. And you just need Quick Repose 1 to one round kill this Axe Fighter. Now the reason why I've got my Ike in this position is to prevent this Bow Cavalier from attacking first. And uh, you can easily one round kill that Axe Fighter, and then this Bull Cavalier attacks you second. Let's move. So now you just wanna so, run sure. all the way back and get healed up. And now we wanna bait out these units with Narcian. The good thing is that this guy only has a fortune cooldown special, um, so we can just debuff him and you swap. You will need Spur Defense Secret Seal in order to survive this with Ike because this guy does have Defense Ploy. And if you have something like Minus Defense or Minus HP uh, Legendary Ike, then you could definitely run Summoner Support Rank C on him and that should definitely help you. You wanna get kill on this guy with your Ike to get that special cooldown. We can definitely take out this bow fighter uh, with Veronica in two turns after we bait him out once again. And now we just take him out because he's open. So down he goes and we can just have Narsian here. The next one is this Lance Cavalier who's going to be going down. So you want to have your Narsin over here because this uh, this Lance Cavalier has no reason to go down. Now Lloyd and this Lance Cavalier can definitely get stuck in this uh, reposition loop, which is definitely going to be annoying if that happens. So we'll just have Veronica like this. 
And then we'll just have um, this Lance Cavalier come to us. So we want to put your Narsin over here. Um, because this Lance Cavalier cannot reach him. He's not going to be coming down. And he's just going to be coming for uh, Veronica. All right. All right, here he comes. Um, so you just want to do some damage to him. And then... Watch this. He can definitely survive his hit with uh, 6 HP. And now you want to have your... Veronica attack this guy and um, and basically just and weaken him enough so that your eye can just take um, take out yes. that Lance Cavalier to get that special cooldown of course and here you just want to get this chip damage on him let's move and also debuff him and just be safe. All right. So because the special cooldown is at 2, Ike is going to be able to heal up sure. on retaliation. Yes. And then he's going to be able to survive the second hit of Lloyd. He does have Iceberg charged up. Alright, so we've got his Ether ready. And we can just right. take out Lloyd with this. Watch this. And now we only have this guy left. What next? Did you call for me? Okay. And he's gonna go down now. I won't lose. Alright. What next? So that's gonna be it for the second Abyssal Solution with Veronica and Brave Ike. Um, this is, of course, for the people who do not have Fion for the first solution. Now let's move on to our third solution, which also does not have um, Veronica, just like the first one. For my third Abyssal Solution, I'm using Brave Lane. You just need to give your Fiam Cricket Post one Secret Seal. And you also want to give your Brave Lane Poison Strike 1 as a Secret Seal and draw back. So this is the only skill intense required for this solution. And uh, you can use any kind of IV Brave Lane with this. Minus Attack, Minus Speed. Doesn't really matter because you could just run Poison Strike on Slot B and run Attack plus 3 or Speed plus 3. And then I've got Olivia. You need to give her Drive Attack to Secret Seal and falter at last for the ai manipulation now this is pretty similar to the first solution but it is faster because of brave lynn and her offenses definitely uh make this whole process a bit easier now and you don't really have to play around all that much uh like you do with the clarice solution uh with her poison strike damage and stuff like that stay close so just want to retreat yes and have Walter on this side of the map This guy. Orders, please. Shoot the enemy. I hunger. And now Bravelin is going to be helping us take out Lloyd. All right. Yes. As you say. Entertain me. All right. So now actually we can just uh, put sure. yes. arm over the here. Uh, chill attack is definitely super annoying. Stay close. Uh, we can now put Fiorm in the range of this bow cavalier. As you say. Okay, the enemy. A feast. And you can actually just um, take him out with your yes. brave Lin. Sure, the enemy. I hunger. Entertain me. Stay close. Uh, Yes. Here. All right. Here comes this. Uh, here comes this Lance Cavalier. We can easily get some chip damage on him. Okay. And yes. actually, just take him out right here. We can easily survive this Red Mage. Actually, um, especially after the attack smoke debuff. There's not really much you can do. And now we yes. want to just run away <laughs> because we do not want to die to this guy. All right. Stay close. Orders, please. Let's just take yes. out this axe fighter. Okay. The 
enemy. As the arm is gonna get that last hit on this guy. And we can just have the arm take on this guy. Um, the next turn, of course, when he comes into our range. Just one more turn and we'll be done with this. And that's gonna be your third Abyssal Solution. So, if you guys have any sort of trouble, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try my best to help you. And if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like and share this video with your friends who are trying to beat this Abyssal map. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.